Off the top at 6, extreme temperatures stretch across Hampton Roads. 13 News now on Collie Avenue and get not a lot of people wasting time to get back into the air conditioning and away from the heat and humidity. The dangerous heat is our top story this Tuesday night. Good evening, I'm Regina Mobley. Now I'm David Allen. At this hour, Hampton Roads is under a heat advisory. It comes as thousands of people are in the dark. Dominion reports 8,000 customers are without power on the south side. The majority are in Portsmouth and Virginia Beach. But the problems don't stop there. We have team coverage for you tonight. Nico Clemens is in Newport News, where hundreds of neighbors are without air conditioning. But we get things started it's with our chief, chief meteorologist, Jeff Lawson. And we just got word from the National Weather Service 101 today actually tied the record. They've also tested that sensor and agree that it's running a degree or two hot, but say as long as it's within two degrees, they're going to let it be. So again, probably really was about 98 or so, but or 99. Nonetheless, it doesn't really matter. It's extremely hot out there. Again, one of the hottest days certainly on what's today, the uh, 15th, 16th, 17th, whatever it is on this day in June, one of the hottest days we have seen, no doubt about that. You can see around Franklin, still down to the state line, a little bit of a shower down here near Gatesville. Very, very light shower. Couple have popped up here. This is ahead of the main batch down into areas of Virginia Beach, but this is the main line. This is the one that so far hasn't been severe, but it has been very, very strong. Lots of lightning, torrential rain, gusty winds, a little bit of small hail occasionally, and it stretches here from, again, right about the border with Accomack and Northampton back here through the uh, northern neck. It's now starting to the heaviest part dip south of you closer to the middle peninsula. And in fact, just entering Gloucester and parts of Matthews. Look at all the lightning associated with the storm. We showed it a few minutes ago. 455 strikes just in half an hour's time. So right here, this is uh, Middlesex County. And then down here you have Matthews and then back here Gloucester. So around Dutton, Piankatank Drive, Piankatank Creek right in there. That's where some of the heaviest rain is currently falling. Falling. High temperatures today again at the top of the hour we were 99 but we just got that word that it did hit 101 degrees going to watch for all this action to gradually weaken and continue to affect parts of the region as we go through the evening and into the overnight less heat though tomorrow that's what I'll be talking about and the continued rain chances when I return. Let's show you just how hot it is. Norfolk came in today just under the 100 degree mark. That's hotter than parts of the desert. Check this out. Las Vegas came in at 93 degrees. Phoenix, Arizona, that's the Valley of the Sun, right? They came in at 93 degrees. And check this out as well. Death Valley, one of the hottest places in the world, they came in at less than Norfolk today. It's that time of year we bring you these important reminders. The experts at the Mayo Clinic say loose fitting light color, cl colored clothing can help keep you cool. Don't forget the sunscreen and keep hydrated with water. That cool adult beverage will just dehydrate you. Dangerous day to be without air conditioning, but it's reality for some neighbors in Newport News. It's just terrible out here and we don't like we don't have rights here and don't nobody care. That's why I because I Making matters worse, a fix could be weeks away. 13 News Now was there as neighbors spent the day outside in the sweltering heat. They say they don't have a choice. Their apartments are just too hot. They want the managers at the Aqua Vista apartment complex to fix the problem. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens uncovers what's being done now. I'm standing for Aqua Vista today. Something don't get done today. Not one, not two, not three, but 26 AC units not working properly here at the Aqua Vista apartment complex in Newport News. It's sad. It's sad. Tenants are hot about the situation, demanding answers. How upsetting is, look at us, it's a bunch of women and kids. We need answers. And praying for a solution to a problem they say is almost a year long. It's not a joke. It's not a game. Many of them swarm the parking lot in front of the office. Their kids tagging along. Eternity Barnes says her AC hasn't worked since April. And I'm not the only one. Newport News' code's compliance officers inspected the property Tuesday. They tell us after talking with management, there are at least 26 homes with no air conditioning. Many of those tenants forced to use portable fans. It's frustrating because I don't have nowhere else to go. Code's compliance is citing the property for a violation of the state's property maintenance code. Director Harold Roach says according to the state's code, the air conditioning is required to work. Everything that I've heard from 
Uh, the on-site management gives me the impression that they're working to resolve the problems. The on-site manager told Roach the owner of the property has signed contracts to repair the 26 units. It should take up to two weeks. Some they'll start fixing as early as tomorrow. Many like Barnes say it shouldn't have come to this. That's why I made it my business today to call y'all because I, I just feel like nothing is going to happen. The state's property maintenance code requires code compliance to give property management a reasonable amount of time to fix the problem, a problem they hope to have fixed again in the next two weeks. And right now, property management is working to put several of their tenants in hotels until their AC is fixed. In Newport News, I'm Nico Clemens, 13 News Now. So what's the law here? Virginia Legal Aid says it is up to the landlord to keep the AC working. If something breaks, the law gives the landlord a reasonable amount of time to fix the problem. That can be as long as 10 to 15 days, or if this is an emergency, a matter of hours. The experts say you have to stay current on your rent. If you stop paying, you put yourself at risk for eviction. Don't forget, you can find a full list of resources on how to beat the heat with the 13 News Now app. It is free in your app store. Sad developments in the search for a 12-year-old boy missing since Saturday. Family members tell 13 News Now the body recovered last night near the Ocean View Fishing Pier is that of Davion Askew. He vanished in the water while playing with friends. Authorities called family members last night after someone spotted Davion's body. Opening statements begin tomorrow in the trial of a man accused of poisoning his ex-girlfriend with cyanide on Valentine's Day. Today, jurors were picked in the Joseph Merlino trial. Before those jurors were in the courtroom, the judge asked Merlino if he was, quote, satisfied with his attorneys. Merlino said he was not because of his lack of ability to see them. He says the process has been prolonged. Merlino's attorneys say they saw him for over two hours on Friday, but say they felt like they need more time to go over the trial. Prosecutors say they had enough time to prepare. The judge denied a motion to push back the trial. The trial is expected to last four to five days. He is accused of planning a terror attack in Virginia Beach. Now Michael Coleman faces a judge. Coleman was arraigned today by video. He was assigned a public defender and a preliminary hearing was set for August 10th. Coleman and a 17-year-old accomplice are accused of plotting an attack against the Bayside High School prom at Town Center earlier this month. Coleman was in court in Norfolk yesterday on separate charges. Quick update to a story we told you about at 5.30. The Great Bridge Bridge in Chesapeake is back open. City officials tell 13 News Now the bridge malfunctioned during the lift at 5 o'clock. Crews work to troubleshoot the issue and traffic, we're told again, is moving once again. New at 6, more traffic cameras are coming to Chesapeake. Police tell us two will be installed along Volvo Parkway, where it crosses Greenbrier Parkway and Battlefield Boulevard. The others will sit on Military Highway at Canal Drive and the intersection of Taylor Road and Portsmouth Boulevard. The good news here? Two will be taken down along Military Highway and Capistella Road. Police tell us they evaluate each camera once a year to figure out if they are effective.